going on, everybody? Once again, another episode of Platinum Mike. I am your host, Van Gaither, along with my co-host, Counter Culture Robs. Here for another episode. Appreciate y'all joining in and tuning in every Wednesday, as always. What's good, man? What's going on with you? Ain't nothing, man. I'm good. You know, just relaxing. Relaxing? Relaxing. Well, what you ride into? What you listen to this morning over on the way over here? You know, good old... Uh, you know, faithful man, J Electronica. You know, J started with like you know, Letter to Fallon. You know, uh, that took me to Dear Moleskin, and then that just got me in a zone and Shine, Shine Poe when he got out of prison. Uh, joint I haven't called checked Roller that out. Song. You know, uh, mm-hmm. that was probably one of my favorite uh, joints that he made after he got out of prison. Roller Song, uh, Shine Poe, and then I ended it with um, this cut called Red by IDK. I don't know who that guy is, but he sounded like Kanye West. But MF Doom was on there. West Side well, Gun. How did you find out? How, how you come across that one? Uh, just you know, when when I'm listening to whatever I'm listening to, J Electronica, that mm-hmm. was one of the suggestions. So you know, okay. uh, I was like, oh, three of these people. I'm like, yeah. So okay. you know, I just hit play, and it was like, wow, you know. So I probably repeated that joint about three times. Uh, called Red by IDK, uh, MF Doom, West Side Gun, and J Electronica Fire. Got to check that out. So check this out. When we come in, we're going to let y'all know what we ride into. And, uh, you know, after the show, we might have a feeling what we're going to ride out to, you know. Uh, Go check some of those joints out if you ain't heard them. Uh, Let us know what you think. And, uh, you know, in the comments, let us know what maybe we should check out. Because, you know, I'm always about hitting the discover button and and finding new stuff. So on that note, what what you play coming in? I'm going to start the show with some controversy. <clears throat> that Nas King's Disease 2. Okay. I'm going to stop short of saying that's some of his best work. I'm going to stop a little short. But that album, for me, about to make it in my Let It Ride. When I listen to that joint, man, it's just diverse as diverse can be. It's not all street. Dude, he talking about the Sunday brunch. He talking about the joint with uh, Death Row, him and Pac trying to work things out. He's got the joint talking about Phony Love featuring Charlie Wilson. That album, that's a good album. King's Disease 2. If you haven't li- listened to that one, check it out. That's some of Nas' best work. Hit Boy got down on that one. So so I circled back around to that mm-hmm. uh, when we was talking about that maybe a couple weeks ago, however long it was. And um, going into it without that expectation, you know, I've, I've come to appreciate it a little bit more. Um, you know, it's just wrapping around my head around what I want to hear from that guy. But, you yeah. know, it, it, it's, it's an appreciable joint. One of the best short of that. Nah, I ain't doing all that. But but you know, it, it's an album that you know I, I can appreciate and and, and I like that. Um, on that same note, did you know A Z came out with Do or Die Two? I gave it a listen. I, I I think I told you, man. I got I got I got about five tracks in. I'm gonna have to go back and circle back because I'm gonna I'm gonna steal one from you. Maybe I was looking for something else from it. But here's where I am. Nas, AZ, Jadakus, with everything that's going on with him since the Versus battle. This whole renaissance thing of these 90s era rappers that's making their way back, I'm loving it. I love it. Right, I'm all right, in. right, right. I'm all, and that's not knocking the young kids. That's not knocking the young stuff that's out there. But when you're talking about some stuff from my era that has grown and I can still relate to it that's relatable, mm-hmm. I'm looking for the rest of them to start coming. Well. So yeah, I, that AZ, I, I liked it, man. Uh, one of one of my dudes from college uh, hit me. He was like, "Yo, I, I love what y'all doing. Mm-hmm. Check out that AZ, cause you know that that's this. These are my dudes that we used to go out to the club with. We used to. Be, oh, he he told you about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We 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 be you know in the dorm rooms freestyling. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Drunk, going out, getting getting turned up to yeah. to you know whatever we listening to at that moment. And then you know if you got Shit, ten guys. We all gonna have ten different types of music we listen to, <laughs> but but yeah. this is one of my guys that we've been on the same page with a lot of music. So he was like, you know, I know you like AZ back in the day. Okay. You gonna love this new AZ, and uh, you know, first first listen, you know, I, I, it wasn't, you know, okay, yo, this knock. If a, if an album knocks me off off my 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 rocker when when I'm first listening to it, then you know, woo, I'm gonna play this a hundred times before I get mm-hmm. tired of it. You know, but this is a more you know it's mature rap, so you know I was like, okay, uh, I'm I'm I, I'm not gonna be hating on on how we growing up in hip hop and 
you know, A Z. A Z's always had that dope, dope flow, dope voice. Yeah. So, you know, to me, he's always he's been neck and neck with Nas to me. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, okay. I, out of the cute Queensbridge dudes, you know, um, Nas wasn't at the top to me. I mean, it was like Cormega. Um No, I'm not disagreeing with you. I just thought you had Nas at your top. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. In, okay. in Queensbridge, he is not at the top. You know what I mean? No. Hey, fair enough. Cause Cormega's you, probably my favorite. Because you know, I, out of I love this King Disease too, but I've always told you how I felt about Nas. I've always felt that's a little bit of, you know. His, I, his, his mans that he put on, those, those were some, yeah. he, he's been putting on fire rappers. Check since this out, jump. though. We talked about Nas. We briefly talked about Jada. We talked about AZ. King of New York. Right now. I mean, by default, you got to give it to Jada for what he been doing <laughs> on this uh, this other shit. But no, nah, no, nah, real talk. I mean, I, I don't even know if it's if you can even crown a king of New York like that. You right. know what I mean? It's, it's who who's shaking up the shit like that? You know, Jay Z still doing what he's doing. Jada, okay, we, we he, just, he, he just shook nah, it nah, up. Nah, 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 hold up. Okay, Jada did all of that. All right. What what new Jada joints Nothing. have you listened to that you like? Yo, I just discovered this new Jada. Nothing. Yeah, stop it, man. He's Nothing. been doing he's been doing what he's been doing for for decades. It's just par for the course. We're not by giving the crown off of that. But you know, if okay. if anything, he just took the crown. But, but it, nah, I don't even think there's a, a a crown to be like like back when Big was alive. It was undisputed. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't I don't you know Jay Z. Uh, I mean, I, maybe he ran with it for a little bit, but. I, I don't even know if that would be undisputed the way Biggie had it like that. You know what I mean? Now, I, I'm not. I don't want to say we'll never see that again, but it's gonna be a minute before we see what Biggie did. It was a short run, but it was a hell of a run, and like you said, it was undisputed. And Biggie's absence allowed for a lot of cats to get in that I don't think would have gotten in had Biggie been around. Right. I, I don't think so. So you don't think there is no King of New York, King of the South? King of the South. I mean. Who, who's the king of the South? What is it? Little Baby? Little what Baby? Dub Baby? T.I.? Uh, what is Migos? It, you know what I'm saying? Amiga, no one's ever saying they the kings of this shit. T.I.? You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm the king. What you mean? He, he claimed he was. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> yeah. but T.I. still putting out music. I probably ain't wanted to hear a, a T.I. joint in a while. We back to that. You oh know? No, God. no, it ain't. It ain't uh, that, that was, you know what I'm saying? When he yeah. came up, that was the guy. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I listen to their music when they put it out, but it, it, it just doesn't have that same feel. And they when don't they come even, they out with something new, you mean? Yeah, and they okay. don't even have the same. They don't even feel like they got the same feel. I mean, <laughs> well, maybe I, uh, maybe they ran. I, I'm not gonna say the passion was lost. Maybe they ran out of stuff to talk about. It's young man's game. They got out the way. <sighs> I don't know, man. Okay, it's a young man's game, but we still up here talking about Jay, uh, Nas and Jada and uh, uh, Nas and Az. Yeah, and we call it a yeah, young and, and them some and them some nice music. This is refresher. Yeah, they just refresh and, and, and all of Griselda. You know and we're talking and, all of Griselda. Yeah, that, that might be Kings of New York, but you know, but, but <laughs> yeah. real talk, the, the whole New York probably ain't on them like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure uh, them other dudes uh, that are that are rapping from New York, you know, King, fabulous may think he's King of New York, but you know, nah, man, I don't think. Not an ASAP Rocky fan. Man, is, no. Okay. Nah, just because I know he got he got some joints that's out there that people like. I, New York may be feeling him a little bit uh, who, more. Who, who king of New York? Bobby Shmurda? Who, who king, Rowdy Rebel? He king of New York? They got some shit that I like, though. I ain't going to hold you, but <laughs> no one's calling him king, man. We've been waiting. The, you know, the way we've been waiting for Bobby to drop something, you know what I'm saying? You would think yeah. he had the crown. But man, yeah, he nah, won't drop, though. Nah, he, he lost it. <laughs> he don't. He said, I won't do what, 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 what happened with Shine. <laughs> ink run dry. <laughs> his ink, no, his ink didn't run dry. It just wasn't received the same way that okay. it was before. before. He went in. Don't do that to, to Poe. Okay. Poe's probably one of the dopest in New York. You know what I'm saying? And he's on that politician shit. So you know, maybe you know, you're, you're on that politician shit. That you got yeah, me. You, you you're on that political shit. shit. Yeah, I'm. I'm all in. But King of New York, I don't know, man. Who you think? King of New York. Yeah. I, 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 dude, you when you do when you pull a stunt like what Jada did. I gotta go with that for now. I mean, like you, we'll, uh, right now we don't have a biggie situation where it's undisputed, it's debatable. And right now, no, Jada does not have any new music out. I would like to believe you're going back out on tour, you're gonna enjoy this run. 
I would like to think he's gonna go back in and Locke's gonna come out with some new music. So you talking Why about that? not? You talk, talking about goofy rules like when Rome was falling and shit, and, hey, and man. they would have a they would have a, a emperor for twenty eight days, and then the next nigga. Hey man, <laughs> nah, if I come for your head hey, and I get it, I come for it. I get it. If, there, if there's no undisputed, you know what I'm saying? I, I just say, you can't say that, man. Okay, I, I, who, all right. who the king of South? Maybe you asking me, man. You, I don't know what the qualifications are, but the baby, the little baby, because right now they're the hottest things out and have been for what? Last two, three years? Who has ever been the king of the South? T.I. Okay. I, I, I might be uh, outcast. Has Jeezy ever been it? I think he had a run. Uh, as king. <sighs> you see, we, we, you just loosely, you can't just. It, what was it, that? There's only five, been kings of, of of this thing in well, certain yeah. pie. There, There is no, there is. You said, had he ever been king? I think he had a moment where, whoa, wait, because when Jeezy was at his best, was T.I. at his best? Was T.I. at his peak when Jesus was at his peak? In the mid-2000s? They were, like, going opposite directions. Okay. But but Jesus was up here at one point yeah. as T.I. was on the come up. No. Well, it was T.I. first, then Jeezy came up. They kind of, you know what I mean? Don't say T.I. I mean, Jeezy surpassed. Yeah. Probably yeah, 0, yeah, yeah. Nah, 06, 07, 08, somewhere there when Jeezy got really going. Cause I, I like that, that that first album for me, but I, I I'll keep it going. Yeah, I don't think he's ever been king. I mean, if anybody, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. But today's Gucci world. Man. Okay, it's debatable. You know that, what? That's I, you know what? Gucci Mane got a lot of sons out here. Yeah, a lot of disciples. You know I, I, a lot of people I, I probably, off that tree. I pro- I probably wouldn't say that again. A lot of people off that tree. That's an episode we need to talk about that. A lot of people that came off that tree. Hip hop family trees. Yeah, hip hop family trees. That shit might be dope. Yeah. But, but Gucci <laughs> got a lot of sons out here. He, he does. And um, even though his music came, <laughs> you know what I mean, the most that you want to, because Gucci was horrible when he first came out. You know what I mean? I, I couldn't stand his snotty nose cadence. But um, well, his song, he, he, I... he, he got real great street music, and I, I appreciate him now more than I did, you know, in the early phase. Like that Icy Jeezy. Uh, you know, I know that 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 first CD was it had some bangers on it, but I, I just what it took a while for me to digest that one. When he came you know out, when saying? him and old boy came out with Icy, I was I was all in. Yeah. I, that's my. It, it was it was more Jeezy over Gucci at that point. No debate, no doubt. But all day long, you know that, that was you know I don't know he was still putting out. It was more underground street. We talk we we talking about the king of New York, king of the South. We didn't talk about the West. We keep talking about King. Got to show a little love. Who, who, who the King of the West? King of the West? Who even raps in the West? That's current. Yeah. Oh, Kendrick Lamar, right? When last time he dropped something, though. I don't know. Is he the king? Is he great? He great, but I guess he the king until somebody take it because his cat's out there dropping, but nobody dropped nothing more powerful or more significant than his most recent one. West and Coast. he, what, two he years 40? ago, three? Too short. <laughs> and them, them legends. <laughs> Who's who the last one he said? <laughs> <laughs> Cutting the damn fool. Yeah. Nah, what, what I was getting at is we talking about the kings of this, kings of that. Who the queen? Who's the, who, who, who the queen? A rap. Best female rapper today. All right, best, because we ain't nobody call him the queen. Cause she ain't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> King means you are undeniably that dude, okay. that woman. You know what I'm saying? And, and when Big had it, that was it. Undeniable. Okay. Everywhere. Mm-hmm. So you know these these women they they may have the ball but but that don't mean you you necessarily you know hey just because I have it I have my moment because you know Nelly at one point so more than anybody was he yeah. the king no yeah don't no. do that no so you no. know I, I, no. best best female hip hop artist who whose ball who, is bouncing the hardest right now my yo it's a lot of female rappers out there that are doing it right now. Uh, Remy Ma, you seen how she did in that versus? I like that from a woman when she's rapping, the way she got up in uh, Ja Rule's face. Ass. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she, she, yeah, yeah, I, I like that. So that's why Young M.A. is going to be of that same blood type. Oh, when she going to drop? Has she, have I missed something? Has she dropped anything recently? Oh, she's, she's always dropping music, man. It may not be complete projects or whatever, but, okay. you know, whenever she, she do a freestyle, let me listen real quick, see what she's talking about. But a complete about. project. When was her last complete project? Mistape, CD, I mean, EP, I EP, whatever? Well, I just be having it on. You know okay. what I'm saying? Title yeah. uh, will tell me when something uh, is on here or YouTube or whatever. So, you know. So it, you stream it, Title. That's your platform yeah, you prefer? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, and, and I just go on. When you're on YouTube, it'll it'll suggest different stuff. Yeah, so. give you different recommendations. So, yeah. you know, uh, and I like Cardi B. 
Now I was looking at some the other night. I'm not going to say which podcast because I don't want them to think we're talking bad about them when it wasn't. Well, Earn Your Leisure podcast. Mm. I forgot what female rapper they had on there. <clears throat> and someone mentioned Cardi B, and everybody went in on him. And I'm like, nah, Cardi can rap. Yeah. If you really listen to her, she got bars. Yeah. Now, I know she got the little entertainment side to her. Mm-hmm. That's why I like her. Okay. But the girl can actually rap. But a lot of people don't want to give her credit for that. They want to call it stripper rap. I think a lot of women fall under that umbrella of stripper rap, but not Cardi. You know, because the way she was packaged up, you know what I'm saying, we seeing her on TV first. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I can believe the stripper rap that she's spitting. So you know me, I want a nigga to go to prison or die. This chick was on the stage. Mm-hmm. I seen her tits before I heard her spit. You know what I'm saying? So I believe all that that she's talking about. <laughs> I believe she's setting up all these dudes she's talking about. I can appreciate that. Where mm-hmm. these other other women that may be rapping, because to me, I, I I went through a deep dive and, and, and listened to, you know, who was the top female MCs in 21. You know what I'm What'd saying? What did you come up with? What did you take? A lot of them sound the same to me. You know, it, it's like they, they, they sound like whoever that hot rapper is right now. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and they all clones of each other. Lack of creativity. Because, like, the, who's the MC Light of today? Who's the Queen Latifah of today? I'm not talking about sound-wise, but can just carry their own like a Foxy Brown. What's the other one's name? Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim. I, three times platinum. You know what I mean? Even the brat. Got to throw the brat in the situation. Got to throw some love right. over there. But who is, speaking of the brat, we got to talk about this one. Did you see the thing with Jermaine Dupri and uh, Puffy in the verses? Yeah, man. That re- <laughs> What's up with the reaction? Talk to me. I don't want to see that. You know what I mean? Well, you think it's too lopsided or don't even go in the same vein? Only music I'm trying to hear is Puffs. <laughs> you got to get J.D., man. I don't got nothing against J.D. I mean, he made a nice little so-so deaf all-star compilation. You know, good party booty shake music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, I mean, he did great with Usher. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't even listen to R&B, but... You know, it was a couple of ushers, you know, you remember. All right, but if we take, we, okay, I mean, if you don't listen to R&B, then with Puffy, we got to take out Mary J. We got to take out Faith Evans. Okay, but he got so we much take out 112. He got so much hip hop that it don't even matter. He got you know Biggie. Craig Mack had one song. Biggie would give you. We can see it on Biggie. All right, man. You didn't have the entire I, I, lo- I've never mm-hmm. wanted to push play on anything mm-hmm. that that had JD attached to it. You know, even when he's rapping with Jay-Z, Money Ain't a Thing, that ain't the Jay-Z that... Uh, that ain't the Jay Z feature I want to hear. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, you know what? But you judged you know that what? before all the other features came, though. Let's, let's, that was his feature at that time. You can't he look at the put out a solo album. Who gave him the green light to put out a solo album? Jermaine Dupri. Yeah, he gave himself that. He had his own label. Gave himself that own hey, green you light. Me, you give me, you give me that feature list that he had for his first solo album. Uh-huh. I guarantee I could make a dope record. Yeah. Give me Jay-Z. Give me Nas on my first joint. You know what I mean? Keep in mind, he's doing the production and some of the right. Not for all of them cats for his own stuff. He's yeah, doing I the production hear, too I now. I hear a beat on it that I wanted to hear. So, you know, nah, man. Uh, JD? Yeah. I, I mean, he's a legend and whatever, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If we're going to throw a party and, and Gus going to be there, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be at the JD party. Speaking I'm, of girls, man. <laughs> back, back, to, back to the girls. Speaking of the girls, man. <laughs> what, you, what you mean? So, so deaf, baby. <laughs> Back to the girls. We got what? Remy Ma. Hey, the brat was nice. Man, the brat might be one of the best female rappers ever. I don't know about ever. I said one of. I ain't say but, you know, when I when I was a teenager, yeah, yeah. I thought I was going to get that little stud pregnant. Yo, <laughs> I messed with her. Come on, she dog. Spit. <laughs> spit. Oh, my God. All right. But she was tomboy, you know what I'm saying? And that that's... I said. Was she writing her own rhymes? I think it was, you know, Jermaine Dupri had a lot of influence in them right right now. So I don't know if she wrote all of her, I don't know if Jermaine wrote all of the music or if him and the brat worked together on it. That part I don't know. Mm. But the one thing about Jermaine Dupri is he wrote a lot of stuff for Criss Cross, Escape, Brat. Did he write all of it? That I don't know. I guess we have to go back and look at the credits. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, no idea on that. But I'm just curious though, female rappers, because. You know, I don't like knocking nobody because I appreciate everyone's success. But Megan Thee Stallion. Okay. I, I, that's entertainment. I can't call that rapping. 
That's entertainment. See, I think you she know. can spit too. You think Megan can spit? Yeah. I mean, I mean, they they got a flow and cadence that that is nice, but you know, it's just subject matter. But I I can apply that to the fellas too. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because you know, right now, drill is only talking about killing your ops. Um, you know, this South stuff is all all about selling packs, doing this, that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and and with with women, I, I feel I there's no diversity. I wish okay. there was more diversity in what I was listening to uh, when when I was trying to do a deep dive. Because you know, back in the day, you had Queen Latifah. You know what I mean? You had um, Missy Elliott, which I couldn't stand, but uh, she was creative though. It you was know? different. I don't think there's anyone who. Where's today's Missy Elliott? Right. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, Where's yeah, yeah. today's Lauren Hill? Uh, okay, today's Lauren Hill. She's out of London. A girl named Lil Sims. Check her out. We like we say okay. we're gonna talk to y'all about some new people to check out. Lil Sims, S I M Z. Check her out, Lil Sims. That's today's Lauren Hill. Keep you. I got you. Yeah. So so even Griselda got a got a female mm -hmm. artist, Armani Caesar. And oh, you know she I'm, nice. Okay. She she nice. Do you don't like her? She can do. She gets the job done. Okay. But. Um, I listened to her projects before mm -hmm. she was with Griselda. It's like, nah, I only like you rapping on these beats. So, you know, it's kind of <laughs> jaded. I, I don't think she's, because she don't sound different than any, everybody else. You know, I mean, so she, you get, she's. I, and that's the thing. I think a lot of these women, what happened, I see this one making a song, so I'm going to go do it too. Yeah, it, all they talking about is robbing dudes uh, and, 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 and bitches hating on them. That's all they talk about. I mean, but the about. women, they can say the same thing about the dudes. Yeah, all yeah, the dudes. yeah, true indeed. They, but, they, you know they, what I'm saying? Know. That's that's why, you know, uh, how much of the music that I played am I going to listen to on repeat? Okay. Um, a handful, but probably not a lot. Because, you know, if that's all they talking about, that, that's probably not going to be in the rotation of, you know, my bag is this. Uh, you know right. what I'm saying? Your nigga won't, won't me to do this. Or, or I'm doing this to him. Uh, nah, man. That, that ain't, I think more diversity does need to be there. You know, Eve was diverse, right? It wasn't my but bag. That of was music, a different. That she... was a different time when creativity was there, and people fought to be different. Remember, your label came in, and your A and R wanted you to be the next so and so, and that's when artists fought for creativity and fought for control. And I'm not trying to be the next so and so. So I think that's what's happening now. I want you to be the next. Nah, these Cardi, people. These people Megan. like, I, hey, sign me up. I'll take a 360 deal. Make me the next so and so. Yeah. Make me the next Nicki Minaj. Yep. Make yep. me the next Erica Banks. Make me the next Bia. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll take that deal. I'm tired of working in the club or whatever it is that some of them doing that don't go for all of them. Versus back then, nah, I'm not gonna be like that. I want artist control. I want creativity over my music. Nowadays, I don't even know if they fight for all of that. You don't have a lot of, even though she's not rapping. You don't have a lot of Beyonce's that's saying, it's my project, I'm in control, I'm going to do it my way. Mm -hmm. A lot of these women, like, where's the contract? I'm signing. Got you. And a lot of, probably some of the male side, too, which is why everybody sound the same. Yo, where the La Chat at? Where the, where the ugly spitting ass bitch? You know what I'm saying? She could spit. Yeah. Where Mia X? I <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Well, big, you going? Oh, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Mia they, X, what they, about they the don't no, fit the image no more. No, you, you, going, to the, you going to the No Limit reunion? <laughs> what, all right, keep it on? moving, huh? <laughs> <laughs> keep it moving. All right, all right, you mentioned me an ex. I, th I think I'm going to was probably one of the, you know, but, I thought speak, she you know, Griselda coming, right? You know, Benny them coming, right? Man, I ain't trying to get out right now, man. You know what I mean? Man, there you go with that mess, man. I, I've already seen, you know what I mean? Them last time they came, so. Yeah, it's new, music, new music now, though. It's new music now. I, I don't think they put any, anything out way better than that other, you know what I mean? Yeah, because you prefer that so, than the other stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, my man D Suba, um, he 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 sent me a clip of this rapper that's from here, uh, Amaretta the Great. You know, what I'm saying she male, female, female. She had that song that's cap, um, and uh, she was freestyling and she was spitting. So she gave me Remy Ma vibes with just how ooh holding it down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, and what's not, the name again? Uh, Amaretta, Amaretta the Great. Okay. You know, from Atlanta. You know. Okay. And uh, you know, it was it was good 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 content. So you know, I, I'm gonna listen to a couple more of her joints. Sound original. You know, just to make sure she's sturdy. You know, she wasn't too deep in the bag that 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 annoyed me when, okay. when I listened to to some of these other um, artists that are out here because they all just sound like you know cookie cutter. Uh, I, I'll give what's the name of Pass, even though it's a little on the pop side. Who that? Uh, Doja Cat. 
okay. you know, she's rapping and singing, which as we talked about before, that's not a bad thing. But at least she does not sound like some of these other people we've mentioned. And subject matter, pass, but flow, delivery, I, she, she can rap a little bit. <clears throat> but like I said, it's a little kind of on the pop side. It's not on the deep dive into the hip hop is what we prefer. So we're not going to talk about Nicki Minaj? Or, or, I'm trying know? not to, man. I, Why? I, huh? She's a, that's the most searched female artist of all time. Like I said before, I'm okay with not sitting at the cool kids' table. What? <laughs> I I don't think Nicki can rap. What? I just call me crazy. I'll take I'll take all the shade. I'll fade all the heat. I want all the smoke. I think Nicki. I'm gonna leave it alone, dude. Yeah. That's that's how I want. That I guess that's how I want a a, a female to rap. But you know what I'm saying. In like today's I said, era, I can live with that. Yeah, yeah. She, if she. If we're talking today, I'll roll with and, that. And she's in New York, so she just reminds me of if if you replace those bars with a a guy saying those bars, mm -hmm. ex the girl stuff. I guess for you me, I got, I got I got to bypass and and, and ignore, I got to listen and, and ignore the, all the glitzy glamour, all the yeah yeah all that cartoon stuff. She, yeah. she's a character, so yeah. you know what I'm saying. From a marketing standpoint, she's knocking it out. You know yeah. what I'm saying. But you know, out of out of all of them. You know, I I think Minaj, Cardi B, and Remy Ma, and Young M A, round out who I think would be battling for that, for that crown. But you know, if if you really got to say something, it probably is. See, for me, Remy, Nikki, Cardi, Young M A, I can put the CD in and let it roll. Nikki, give me something with a feature of. Three or four songs, depending on what mood I'm in. Some little hype music she got. I thought I can. I don't know that I can do a whole Nicki album. She's good. She's talented. Don't want to sound like I'm hating, but I can't do an entire Nicki album. I got you. You know, give me three or four songs and I'm out. It, it's it's too, you know, I, I'm out on that. But Cardi B, <clears throat> that last one she did, I could let it ride. All right. That was a female let it ride for me. Yeah, I I, I I like Cardi B the most out of all that. You know how she 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 reminds me. You know. Or that girl with them messed up teeth when she first introduced herself to us, <laughs> you know, I believe her, man. I believe everything. I mean, well, she, she, she went, she about, went through the struggle. It was yeah, real because you've seen yeah. it. You know what yeah, I mean? You, so. you saw her rise. You saw her come up. She, she, she is what she speak about, and you can see it. Mm -hmm. You know, this isn't the label saying, "Go out here, look this way, be this way, talk this way, act this way." Yeah. She was like, "Nah, I'm gonna hit you with my life story," mm -hmm. and that's why it works. And, 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 you know, you're Nazis of the world. Uh, what's the one I like from Griselda? Benny the Butchers of the world, the Jay Z's of the world, of the world. They hear you with their life story versus, okay, what people want to hear. Let me give people what they want to hear, and it doesn't sound convincing, you know. Um, I'm surprised you ain't said salt and pepper, or JJ Fat. Or man, get the man. hell up out of here, man! What you gonna say now? <laughs> Silk Times leather. <laughs> get the hell out of here, man! Like, let me tell you something. Salt and pepper would never that 1994 Source Awards. I was done with them at that point. When Kid and Play and Salt and Pepper introduced Best New Artist, and when they opened up that card and read it, Best New Artist, 1994, uh, Outcast. At that point, I was done. That we was, had this conversation. That was Pepper, though, right? I don't care which one it was. You part of the crew. Yeah. You part of it. And then when they came, I think it was Gip or whoever came up on stage, Gip the War, they, they just, just pushed it off like, I don't even want to touch you. you, like you got the play. Gotcha. So, you know, like Snoop said, you ain't got love for me, I ain't got love for you. So I, I listened you know. to a lot of female rap back then. I think MC Light and Yo-Yo probably was, was cool. Oh, yeah, I forgot um, about Yo-Yo. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I like Salt Pepper back yeah. in the day, man. I mean, that was, that was they used to play music, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, when they rap but outside of, you know, uh, when they got, in the early days, I liked it um, because they, they, they reminded me of that 80s hip-hop. You know, salt and pepper. I'm surprised yeah, you yeah, like yeah. salt and pepper. No, I ain't gonna say like like, but it was okay. like tolerable because you know it's mm -hmm. not a whole bunch of uh, stuff that I'm gonna say that that I used to like back back in the day mm -hmm. on female rap, man. You know what I'm saying? It just wasn't wasn't like that. You know what I mean? They would just hey, you can play, but okay. um, you know you're not gonna get paid like these NBA stars. <laughs> you gonna make that comparison? NBA versus WNBA? At, at that time, you know what I'm saying? They they yeah. just was rapping. That don't necessarily mean they was good, you know what I'm saying? I don't know about uh, Miss Melody and all that, man. Ain't, you know what I mean, that ain't that, that's hip hop. I think, I think MC Light, it, MC it, Light was it, the first female to go gold, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think Light had had sauce, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But, well, who's that other girl? The um, Roxanne Chante. Or? Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. The, the, man, her voice was annoying. So she, she, <laughs> matter of fact, she could rap now. She sounds like that. 
on the rib. I don't that okay. high pitch annoying shit. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of these. High pitch, annoying shit. Yeah. Counterculture robs. I'm Van Gaither. <laughs> but let's circle back to something we probably need to delve into on a later show. Hip hop family tree. Mm-hmm. Who would you say had the best hip hop family tree? Damn, off the top of the dome like that, huh? Uh, you know, uh, shit, I'm just going to rattle off some. Dre's family tree. You said Dre? Dre's family tree is is is, is crazy. You talking Andre 3000? No, no, Dr. Dre. Oh, Dr. His Dre. His family tree is, is crazy. Okay. Uh, the Cash Money Baby. Baby Baby's, Baby's family, family tree, tree is nuts. What about No Limit? Uh, n- no Limit. Uh, yeah, it's probably. It's, 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 it's big, but... um. You know, I don't know. I don't know about all that. Rough Riders? Rough Riders. I mean, again, it's small and potent, but, you know, I'm talking about like a the, massive the family tree. Of, yeah. I think Wu-Tang will have a big family tree. Um, Not necessarily big, yeah. though. Maybe may, the, the best. The best. Yeah. Okay. Because you got... Uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to have to say Dre off the top. Oh, Dungeon Family. My bad. Oh, organized. My bad. My bad. Organized Dungeon Family. Organized noise. Yeah, right here, right um, home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, but Dre got... NWA, Ice Cube, and 50 Eminem, Cent. Eminem, 50. All right, 50 Cent, man. Did he find a game? He didn't find a game. He the game's under that umbrella. The game is under, umbrella. under that umbrella. DOC, uh, you Ice know what Cube. I'm saying? Kendrick's under that umbrella. Kendrick. So, you oh, know, you can stop a, right there. Ain't nothing else to talk a, about. That's, a, that's yeah. a crazy tree because even though, you know, um, Goody Mob, uh, not Goody Mob, but um, uh, shit, we just said it, bro. Outcast and that family tree. Yeah, organized uh, dungeon. You know that. Yeah, yeah, Goody Mob. Yeah, Killer Mike. Who, yeah, who, Backbone. Who, are they, who do they have now? That's still waving that flag. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay. So yeah, versus know, the mother camp still got some people waving that flag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That uh, Jay Prince, his family tree. He, that that might be a. We we can make something out of that though. I, yeah, I, think I forgot getting, about that. Getting you get into Jay Prince and all of them cats up that way. Yeah. Yeah, oh, we ain't even touch on New York's family tree because Puffy, as much as you want to hate on Puff, I ain't hate no Puff. Puff. <laughs> I mean, what, what you, you can't count Puff, the locks, they Puff, left. Hey, Puff's family tree will demolish Jermaine Dupree's no, family it won't. tree. Okay, let's go. You got big. We're gonna, I'm gonna concede on big. The Stand locks it. now, he only had the locks for a little it doesn't bit. Doesn't matter, he's part of the family tree, right? But the locks left when they locks had they who, been, bought, who bought you the locks? He did. There but go. when do we get the best Black of the locks? Rob, when we got matter. the best of no, when we got the, the best of the locks, tree. they was gone. Family tree is family tree. You know nah, I mean? man, they they left the family. All right, all right man, who, let's go. <laughs> <Next>. Black Rob, <laughs> nah, they I'm, left the family. Doing this with you, <laughs> you can't you can't be claiming LeBron titles with the Lakers when he ain't in Cleveland. Cleveland can't be claiming them titles. So family tree is, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Hey, here's your mom and dad. Okay, they bore this kid. Okay, and then her brother bore this kid, so it's still part of a tree. Doesn't matter when they got there, man. You know what uh, I mean? I, okay. We, we're looking cause, at cause, it Because Jermaine Dupri didn't bring you Mar- Mariah Carey. I, we it's never said Mariah told. was under his family tree now. I'm just saying, though. You yeah, know that Mariah saying? don't but, get the count under his family but tree. But if he bought, if he bought, did he produce a lot of her, her, uh, her albums? That album, I forget which one it was. The Mansion Patient of Mimi or something like that. Did, yes, he, yes, she is under the family tree. I, if you're gonna, I disagree, but if you're going to rock with I'll take that one then. So what are you saying? What no, what I'm saying, family tree. You brought them in, and their best success was under you. No, sir. That ain't what I'm saying. Okay. And that's not how that would work if we d- diving into it. Who is affiliated with Dude, when this you, person? When you look at Dr. Dre, 50 Cent was rocking and rolling while under Dre. Eminem was rocking and rolling while under Dre. The Game, Kendrick, DOC, Ice Cube, all of them was rocking and rolling while under Dre. So now we're going to talk about, okay, we're going to bring in – Tupac, who rocked and rolled, his best years was under Dre as well, but I don't know. It's part of the family tree. It's part of the family tree. So I think we maybe just answered our own question, who got the best family tree, because I don't know anybody's got a tree more potent than that. But my thing is, your best years was over here when you were not affiliated with me. I, I can't give you that. That's just me. Duke has a basketball team that they filled every year. Mm-hmm. Kyrie Irving played seven games. One year. So he wasn't even, you know, he mm-hmm. showed flashes of greatness, but he really didn't do nothing. Well, that's expected. You're going to the next level at Duke. There's another level after Duke, okay. the NBA. So at the NBA, this is the top level. So are you doing it so with Cleveland? So what's your DNA? Where are you from? Right here. No. Duke. Duke. You get what I'm saying? So then it's he can claim. DNA. No, but then he got a high school he went to as well. Then he got a little league he played for as well, an AAU team he played for as well. 
<laughs> Splitting the content. <country. laughs> Splitting Counterculture Robs. Please follow at Counterculture Robs. I'm Van Gate to continue to follow. Oh, don't forget about your Hip Hop Forever t shirts, man. Shop Hip Hop Forever Apparel.com and check out my man Michael McFadden over at Power 108.9. He's generous enough to let us have this spot over here to do this weekly podcast coming to you every Wednesday. Please follow Platinum Mics on the YouTube channel. What else you got going on, man? Oh, no, it's on you, man. What, you, what else you got over there? You know what? That wouldn't be a fair one because everybody's going to say Jada right now. What do you mean? Who would you say is the best freestyle? Right. Who, who could probably just get in a cypher and just take heads off? With the I, exception I, of Jada because it's easy to say Jada Kush right now. And I, I think, uh, you know, I'm not going to put that out of the reach of, you know, just anybody who raps and does. That we know of. Cause that cat, that that was that joint caffeine. I be watching. You ever watch that joint on uh, caffeine? Nah. Oh man, dude, it's some dudes that know some serious skills. Right, and and I think yeah. most of these people, if they rap, they they got serious skills mm -hmm. to go off the top of the dome, or even if it ain't off the top of the dome, got some rem remembered writings uh, that are where they can you know demolish. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I've been watching what what whenever Flex starts dropping them bombs or. Funk Master uh, what, Flex? What, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then uh, what's the other guy that wears the thing on his head? Sway. Sway. Sway, Sway. You know what I'm saying? Like, them dudes, like Common just put out a, mm -hmm. a freestyle that made you like, oh, damn. Like, you know, Renaissance. Yeah, These old, they catch yeah, this. Yeah, they won't leave, made, man. It made me remember like, yo, I, I did used to like Common a little bit back in the day. But, yeah. you know, once you start getting into your acting bag and all of that, you know, you kind of move and lose the love for the. The craft of the art and all that. Do we talk about I mean? that already? That What's we, that? We, we didn't talk about that on air. The acting. We, we talked about that on air already? Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Common at the top of his game started doing movies. All right. Tupac started doing movies. Word. Common, Harlem dude, did one of the best Harlem movies ever, paid in full. Cameron. Cameron. Queen Latifah got into what she got into. Ice Cube. Ice Cube got into what he got, got into all the movies. What act? What rapper today, male or female, do you think can go to the big screen and hit as big as they did? Damn, that's a good one. Because we've seen yeah. Nicki Minaj flash here and there. Yeah. We've seen Cardi B she, flash they, here and they, there. They've been in movies? Yeah, but no major roles. Okay. Just kind of like a little sidekick, okay. you know, nothing. They didn't carry a role the way Cameron did. Gotcha, gotcha. They didn't carry a role the way Ice Cube did. Pop Smoke was in uh, some basketball movie that I've seen. I didn't watch it. Was he it, in it? Or was he a feature? He, he or he? Was, I think he was, uh, you know, a, a, Main a character. nice, a nice uh, amount of screen time as far as uh, okay. the antagonist in the movie. It's a basketball movie with okay. an Asian kid. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want to watch it, but I'm, I'm going to wait till it's free. Uh, so <laughs> My man. <laughs> um, but it, it wasn't something like, yo, I got to go see that. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I'll see it when I see it, but um, okay. you know, Mano, he's been in some movies. That's one of my. What he been? I, I didn't know that. Uh, he played the the guy who uh, did what Tupac needed done okay. to him. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, and I forgot about Nas <laughs> and uh, I, I forgot my man DMX and Belly. So so yeah one. yeah them them dudes was captivating and you had to go yeah. must see TV type stuff. Correct. Who, who is that new guy now? I don't know. Would, would people go uh, to watch the baby? Uh, in a movie, I don't know. Would people go watch um, Kanye West in a movie, or or Dr would, would Drake? He's a funny guy when it comes to you know his videos, right? Would people go to the movies to go watch Drake? I don't know that he can play the roles that the. Man, go ahead. You think Drake could play the roles that DMX played, Ice Cube played, Tupac played? Yeah, Common ain't gonna be that type of movie. That, that's but, my point. But, but yeah. no, no, no. I I think you know I probably appreciate a Drake. In, in that a, acting role more than I do his raps. Well, now, what his saying? commercials are Cause, funny. Cause it, actually, yeah. actually on Saturday Night Live, <laughs> he's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Childish Gambino. Okay, yeah. Tyler the Creator. Well, Childish Gambino, that's the one that does ATL, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, okay. so that's a, that. That dude is talented. Yeah. And you know what? Guilty pleasure. Some of his music is dope. Not familiar with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, go listen to, yeah. go listen. You know what? Yeah. He's going to give you a, a, a dungeon type vibe on oh, some, really? some projects. What's the name again? Uh, Childish Gambino. No, no, not Child. I know his music. You said somebody else after that. Oh, Tyler, the creator. That's not mm -hmm. who I'm talking about giving you a, a, a 
Okay, well, there was somebody else she said, but Childish. Yeah, I'm familiar with Childish Gambino. Yeah, but okay. You like Tyler the Creator? Yeah, I like him. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So that's a, that's another guilty. I used to like him back when he was Odd Future. This new version, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So someone's been telling me go listen to it because this okay. is, you know, what I mean. So I, I see. Okay. I like, I, but they were spitting bars when they were Odd Future. <clears throat> but you know, I think them them dudes can, you know, yeah. hold. the- Speaking of ATL people from that side of town, what happened to Bob? I've never. Uh, uh, listen to heavy to Bob to oh, really? He had that one cut when he first came, but uh, I downloaded a mixtape and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "You know, like that joint? We still in this bitch? We still in this bitch? If it was on there, it was part of the the, the UFO <laughs> action. So you know, <laughs> nah, nah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are winding down. Before we get out of here, what you gonna ride home to, man? <laughs> you go first. <laughs> <laughs> you go first. Oh my God. You know what? I'm going to ride home to that AZ, man, because I gave it a listen. I need to circle back to it. So I think I'm going to ride up out of here and get that AZ another take because I, I, I was a fan. Actually, I, I told you the story, man. So I was late to the party on him because I was in my little rebellious mode. Okay. So. I actually circled back, gave him a listen, and I liked him. I enjoyed his work, enjoyed his project. But I'm going to ride out of here to AZ. Okay. Well, what, what you thinking? So uh, in in dedication to, you know, beautiful women rapping, I'm going to go uh, listen to some La Chat. La Chat. <laughs> no, I'm lying. <laughs> but I am going to listen to that Project Pat. Miss it on play, you know what I mean? Project Pat. Yeah, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. That's our time. My name is Van Gaither, co-host Counterculture Robs. Appreciate y'all tuning in. You can check us out next week. Follow, please, like, share, all of that. Platinum Mike, we out of here until next week. Y'all be good. <laughs>